From Oil Spring in Louisiana, Senator and member of the Appropriations Committee, the great John Kennedy. Senator, good to see you. Thanks for joining us on the bottom line. Mm -hmm. Um, I, would just, I was going to make a note that you're kind of now the junior member of the, the Louisiana delegation when you have Speaker Johnson <coughs> and now uh, Leader Scalise. You're just the lowly senator from the state, but again, welcome to the bottom line. <laughs> um, I'm a former House guy myself. I uh, want to get your take on this, Senator. Um, there's a movement to package uh, all this funding together, Ukraine, Israel, and the border. But the House has a different vision. They say, let's just take up Israel and let's actually cut some of this egregious spending from uh, the Biden administration. Where do you stand on how this should be funded? Well, number one, um, I like the House idea of looking for offsets. In other words, rather than just uh, spending money that we don't have by borrowing it, uh, we look for other uh, ways to cut in the budget. So I like that, number one. Number two, uh, a lot of the the the, uh, the mainstream media on Capitol Hill want to talk about process. Do we do one bill? Do we do four bills? Who's up? Who's down? Who's winning? Who's losing in terms of the politics? I'm not especially interested in the process right now. I'm interested in the substance. Um, we haven't seen any any firm language. All we know is that the president wants money for Indo the Indo-Pacific, Ukraine, uh, Israel. Uh, he says he's going to secure the border. And uh, he also wants us to, to, to spend money on the, at, the F at the FCC. And it's another 30, 40 billion dollars of domestic spending. And that's all we know. I'm, I'm interested in focusing on the substance. I'm also interested in, in putting all this in context, Congressman, and asking, how we got here. Mm. I mean, parts of the world are on fire. Why is that? Um, one of the reasons, certainly not the only reason, but one of the reasons is that for the last two years and change, President Biden, in terms of national security and in terms of international relations, has, uh, has taken the bullet train to chump town. He sent every message of weakness that he could to, to Xi in China, to Putin in Russia, to the Ayatollah in, the Ram, in Iran, all of whom are working together. Uh, he sent the message that um, he believes we can achieve peace through weakness. And um, I don't think uh, that history teaches us that lesson. And I think most Americans, you know, unless you're, unless you're a tier one moron or or you're one of Hunter's hookers. I don't think most Americans <laughs> believe that. Senator Kennedy, I think many people would agree with you that weak foreign policy is, in fact, what got us here. And what we find that this president typically will do is then slap some sort of financial Band-Aid on it, and he's a shoot first, ask questions later. So that's what he wants Congress to do with this big package. Speaker Johnson is trying to break this apart and say Israel needs their aid now. Let's work on that piece first, um, which seems mm -hmm. to be a reasonable plan. But then you've got members of his own party, somebody like Mitch McConnell, for example, who doesn't necessarily want to go along with that plan. Do you think that he will be able to succeed? Well, I don't speak for, for Senator McConnell, and certainly he's expressed a preference for, for all these issues to be addressed in, uh, in one bill. But I haven't heard Senator McConnell say that he wouldn't categorically refuse to consider breaking them up. And I don't, I don't know whether we're going to break them up or not. Clearly, the House is going to. I don't know what will happen in the Senate. But again, I'm less interested in process, Jackie than I am in the substance here. Yeah. So, and I'm interested in hearing from the president. I mean, for, for the last year, he has not been enforcing the sanctions against Iran. So Iran's been able to gain an extra $30 billion by selling its oil. Where do you think that money went? It went to Hamas and Hezbollah and to the Houthis. Senator, can I just ask you one, one quick question? I support funding for Israel. Sure. And I think we should mm -hmm. aid our ally and our friend Israel. However, I can't imagine that thus far Israel has spent $14 billion on this war effort. And so that the U.S. is coming in over the top to send in $14 billion when, 
you know, Israel's not at, you know, 20, 30, 50 billion dollars of expenses yet. And we're 33 trillion dollars in debt. Every man, woman and child owes uh, uh, over $100,000 of debt. We're further in debt than anybody. So it seems like we should come in a little bit later than right up front. Don't you think or am I wrong on that? Well, you, you make a valid point, Congressman. Let, 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 me, let me make a secondary point. I think it's related to yours. Uh, for example, President Biden is asking for humanitarian aid for the Palestinians. I, I don't want to see anybody, any innocent person, die from starvation or lack of water. Um, but I've got some questions first. For example, how much humanitarian aid has, is the, is the uh, European Union putting up? They've always been the supporters of Palestine. Um, how much aid is the United Nations putting up? How much aid is the Arab League going to put up, humanitarian aid? We don't have answers to any of those questions. We're just asked to write a check. And I think those are, those are fair questions. Um, and they're one among a hundred that I have. Once again, I'm going to say it. I, the process is less important to me than the substance. And I haven't seen the substance yet of what President Biden ha is, uh, is really proposing. Senator Kennedy. I mean, look, let me put it another way. I, I'm not saying the president's lying, but every now and then I pay, play poker with my friends. They're good friends. I like them. I trust them. But I always cut the cards. I want to hear the details. <laughs> hey, I want you cutting the cards, Senator.